So you want to learn how to stream to Facebook from Streamlabs OBS desktop. This is how you do it. Nice and simple, nothing too crazy. Hopefully you guys know how to log into Streamlabs with your Facebook. If not, I will show you. Down here on the left hand side, there is a login. And then obviously you pick Facebook. It's not very clear for you guys, but it's this bottom link across the bottom for me. So I click Facebook. And then it gives me this page here. Now I just log into this with my Facebook information. Once you've entered your Facebook login information, you should come to a page that's like this. And it should display pages that are connected to your profile. And sometimes it should display your profile as well. Now, obviously, what you want to do here when you see this screen is literally just select the page that you want to stream to. Then all you do is click next. It'll ask you a bunch of permissions, which it does when you log into all streaming software. It's nothing too stressful. It's just basically asking if Streamlabs can manage your page. You click done. And then that links Streamlabs to the Facebook page that you selected. And it will log me into Streamlabs. And there we go. So now we're already, in theory, linked to Streamlabs. Now, once you're all set up with Streamlabs, what I suggest you do is you log into Facebook. But I would suggest you log into Facebook via fb.gg. The reason for doing this is it takes you to Facebook's gaming page. Once here, we want to click on go live on the left hand side. That'll bring up this page or something similar. If it's asking you to try all the new experience or the new whatever it says, say no, because it's a lot easier this way. So we've said no, and this is what you should be seeing now. On the right hand side, this is the important piece. Underneath post, you want to share on your, click that box and drop it down to page. Then underneath that, will be a page that you should manage. Now don't worry about the rest of this information here. Simple fact being, we'll do the, all of this in Streamlabs. Make sure the persistent stream key box is also ticked. This will mean you will not have to do this every single time you try to stream to Facebook. If it isn't ticked, you probably will do. Once you've got all that set up, you simply come to your Streamlabs page down the bottom right hand corner and click on go live. Now, once you click go live, you should get a page like this show up. This is why we didn't write this information in because ultimately you'd have been doing it twice and it's wasting everybody's time. So only enter the information into Streamlabs. So you enter the title that you want to be on your stream. You enter a description. This is a similar description to that of YouTube, only this is displayed on your video after the title. So it's actually visible. And then you type in the game that you want to search. Once you've picked a game, click confirm and go live. And it's just connecting. It's just giving me this little box. Are you sure you want to start streaming? I click OK. And there we have it. We are now streaming to Facebook. To prove this to you guys, I will just go to Facebook. So this is my Facebook page that I stream from. You can see here that the video is live and also the top video here is classed as live. So this is what's currently happening. That is my live video on Facebook. Now, if you're getting problems and for whatever reason, Facebook won't communicate with Streamlabs, we're gonna basically input Facebook's information into Streamlabs and force it to communicate. Now this is really easy how you do this. We're gonna take Facebook settings and manually input them into Streamlabs so it forces it in. You have to go to Streamlabs settings down here on the bottom and it should bring up this little window here. So then what we have to do is we have to click stream and it should display streaming to Facebook and it should say your profile name and it will be your profile name, not your page name. Now obviously this is what you tried and it didn't work. So we're going to have to force it. So what you have to do here is click on to stream to custom ingest, stream type, custom, and the URL. You take the URL from Facebook, which is this URL here. And I simply copy this and I paste this into my URL here. And the stream key, the stream key that is private that you shouldn't let anybody see, you copy that and you paste that into the stream key, 
paste that. And then you click done, okay? And once you've clicked done, you force the two to talk to each other. Then all you should have to do is click on go live and it should start going live. And that it should be that simple. If, for whatever reason, you click go live, but it's still not sent to your actual Facebook page, it will be similar to YouTube in the fact that this window will turn into a preview window and you'll just have to click go live down here. That should have it all set up for you. Basically, you've got to make sure that if you do have to force it, that you do it through the custom ingress and you import your Facebook URL into your Streamlabs URL space, the code into the code space, and make sure that persistent stream is ticked because then you'll be able to keep using your settings that you import automatically. And it should be that simple. If you guys have problems, do let me know. I'm not an expert on this. So I will try and hand over what I've discovered and the little knowledge that I do know about it. I'll try and help you guys where I can. But the theory behind it is once you force the two to communicate, there shouldn't be any problems because you're literally telling it this is where to take your information from. It should be the fix. Um, it is a fix that I have had to implement a few times and eventually Streamlabs has kind of sorted itself out and has been able to pick it up itself. Hopefully it'll help you guys. Nice and simple, nothing too stressful. Nice and easy. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps.